Suzanne Gerlach's essay, Thinking in Time, an introduction to Henri Bergson, delves into the philosophical landscape of Henri Bergson, a prominent figure in early 20th century French philosophy. Gerlach provides a comprehensive exploration of Bergson's key concepts, focusing on his unique approach to time and its implications for our understanding of reality. At the core of Bergson's philosophy is his critique of spatialized thinking and his insistence on the primacy of duration. Gerlach aptly captures Bergson's challenge to conventional modes of thought, emphasizing his call to transcend the fixed and static representations of reality imposed by spatial metaphors. Bergson contends that the traditional understanding of time as a series of discrete, measurable moments fails to capture the true nature of our lived experience. Instead, he posits duration, a continuous flow of temporal becoming, as the foundational aspect of reality. Gerlach skillfully elucidates Bergson's concept of duration, portraying it as a dynamic, qualitative progression that eludes the grasp of quantitative measurement. Bergson's metaphor of the cinematographic illusion becomes a central focal point in understanding his critique of spatialized thinking. By likening the conventional view of time to a series of static frames in a film reel, Bergson illustrates how this perspective distorts the fluidity and continuity of our lived experience. Gerlach navigates the intricacies of Bergson's argument, elucidating how duration, in contrast to the cinematic illusion, is an indivisible, constantly changing flow. The essay also delves into Bergson's exploration of memory, a crucial element in his understanding of time. Gerlach elucidates how Bergson distinguishes between habitual, utilitarian memory and pure memory, which allows for a direct connection with the past. Bergson challenges the prevalent notion of memory as a mere storage of fixed representations, proposing instead that it involves a dynamic interaction with the past, enriching our present experiences. Gerlach adeptly highlights Bergson's engagement with science, particularly his critique of the deterministic worldview associated with classical physics. Bergson's concept of Elon Vital, or the vital impulse, emerges as a key element in his resistance to the mechanistic understanding of the universe. Gerlach navigates Bergson's engagement with scientific concepts, emphasizing how his philosophy seeks to reconcile the scientific and the metaphysical, recognizing the limitations of each domain. The essay also explores Bergson's influence on other philosophical traditions, notably existentialism and phenomenology. Gerlach points to Bergson's impact on thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre and Maurice Merleau-Ponty, underscoring how his ideas resonate in subsequent philosophical developments. The existentialist emphasis on individual experience and the phenomenological focus on lived experience find echoes in Bergson's philosophy of duration. Gerlach, throughout the essay, effectively communicates the significance of Bergson's ideas for contemporary thought. She illuminates how Bergson's challenge to spatialized thinking has enduring relevance in fields beyond philosophy, including psychology, literature, and the arts. By emphasizing the living, evolving nature of reality, Bergson's philosophy encourages a re-evaluation of our assumptions about time and existence. In conclusion, Suzanne Gerlach's exploration of Henri Bergson's philosophy in Thinking in Time, an introduction to Henri Bergson, offers a nuanced and accessible overview of Bergson's key concepts. Through her lucid exposition, Gerlach guides readers through the intricacies of Bergson's critique of spatialized thinking, his conception of duration, and the implications of his ideas for various intellectual domains. The essay not only serves as a valuable introduction to Bergson's thought but also invites readers to reconsider their fundamental notions of time and reality.